and I asked him, I was like, did you see other women? And he was like, yeah, I mean. I wanted to talk about this topic the other night, but I feel like if I had talked about it the other night, cause I had some wine, <laughs> I feel like I would've spilled too much of my own tea. So, um, you know, I ain't wanna do that, you know, so. Thankfully I didn't have too much wine where I came on here spilling my own tea child and posted it. Okay, that would've been, ooh. But, um, <laughs> no, I'm playing with y'all. So, welcome to the video. Make sure you, while you're here, that you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined to do so, because your girl would greatly appreciate it, okay? I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers, a thousand subbies. Make sure you drop a red heart down below. You wanna make sure you're a part of that giveaway at a thousand subscribers. So, back to what I was saying. Where do I wanna start out? Okay, so once upon a time, <laughs> For years and years, I always dated just one person when I was dating, right? You hear noises and stuff? For the longest, I always dated just one person when I was dating, right? When I was doing that, it did not work out well for me. It did not work out well for me. And <laughs> it's funny because me and my boyfriend just had this conversation over dinner last weekend, which I have to edit that vlog too, child. I'm so behind the editing. And we were talking and I asked him, I was like, you know, when we were dating, before we were in a relationship, did you see other women like while we, when we first started dating? And he was like, yeah, I mean, he's like, I took out a couple other um, women before me and you, you know, were locked in. But that was like in the first, I would say six weeks of me and him dating, he dated others, no biggie. But I say all that to say, for the longest, I always would just, when I was dating, I would always date one person, right? If I liked them, if I felt chemistry, if I felt a connection, I just dated that one person, right? And that was that. Perfect lighting is like horrible for me, but it's okay. I'm in my boyfriend's bathroom, so I can only expect this so much when it comes to lighting here. I might be looking crazy. It's about the message. So for the longest, I would always, my mom would always say, keep a spare tire, keep a spare tire. And I would be like, keep a spare tire, like what? And she'd be like, yeah, like, just cause, you know, you're dating, if, just cause you like somebody doesn't mean you have to lock yourself down. And I feel like, I thought I was like the only one doing that. But apparently like a lot of people do that. Like a lot of people do that. I started dating again um, after, you know, I took some time to heal and all that. And I was doing the same thing meet someone like them okay i'm just gonna talk to them even though they're i'm sure was talking to other women and my mom would always get on me she'd be like girl stop doing that stop doing that and i didn't really understand so fast forward like i said last weekend me and my man we we talked about that and he was like you know him taking other women out on dates before he decided he wanted to focus on me made him appreciate me so much more and I was like really he's like yeah and I absolutely get that because before um my relationship now um so last year when I was dating right I was dating my boyfriend just before he's my boyfriend obviously and I was dating this other guy and y'all we were like I don't know if yin yang twins is the proper term, but like he was me in a man's body, this other person. But his lifestyle though, I was like, mm -mm. like he liked to move around a lot. So me and that guy were talking, it didn't work out, which I'm glad it didn't either. Cause I, I mean, it was funny. Cause before we decided to not entertain any longer, I had made a list anyway. And I just knew like, something was pulling me to my boyfriend now. So that went to work, but this is what I'm gonna say, cause I'm not gonna make this video too long. Dating that person while I was dating, now my current boyfriend, that was an eye opener for me because I got to see and learn so much about myself during that time. If I had just been dating only my boyfriend from the beginning, like if I had only been seeing him and I had not like entertained anyone else, like the first few weeks of me and him talking, like during our talking stage, I felt like I would have missed out on some things because that person 
how do I say this? Even though it was a short time frame, we were only talking for six weeks, job. It made a positive impact on me and it really made me appreciate my man a lot, you know? Um, and it also, dare I say, um, gave me like, it gave me even more confidence in dating because when things were cut off with me and the other guy that I was talking to at that time, it wasn't like he was the only one, you know? Not like he was the only one, right? So it wasn't as shocking. It wasn't like, oh my God, I've invested eight weeks of my time in this, this one person, you need to know this, just this one person while he was seeing someone else. And like I pigeonholed myself for this one person and he's not even really, really feeling it or whatever. Or, um, which that wasn't why things went left but and I wouldn't even say it went left it was a friendly I don't know how to put it y'all maybe I'll do a story talk about it I think I will but I'm glad that I did not only talk to my man during the talking stage like I'm glad I got to get to know someone else too because like I said when it didn't work out it did not feel as hurtful because I was like damn okay well Oh well, like that was my attitude. In the past, I was so invested and I was so, I was just so invested from the beginning. And you just really wanna be careful in guarding your heart and getting invested too soon because I'm a part of this group and I can't share too many details because part of the group rules. And so many women, especially us women, right? We form emotional connections like that. Um, it's just so easy for us to form emotional connections. And for men, it takes them longer. This video is not just for women, it's for all of us, right? Because men do it too. I've heard of men like also just see something like that's it and then they get their heart broken as well. So this goes for all of us. But I'm just speaking to that from my experience because I did that a lot. I did that a whole lot. And if it didn't work out, I'm like, damn, I felt jaded because I invested so much of my time and I didn't talk to anyone else. Like, I didn't have a spare tire, you know? So when that tire went flat, I was like, damn, I'm SOL. You know, like, damn, this, I felt it so much more because I expended so much energy on one person. And when you're in a relationship, you know, of course, that's what you do, right? But when you're dating, if you're not exclusive and Y'all, please don't assume you're exclusive with someone until y'all have the conversation. I'm sorry. Just don't do it. That's how you find yourself in a situation shit, but that's a whole nother video. But um, I say all that to say, if you're dating right now, please keep your options open. And it could be you're dating three people and that there's one person standing out. And it could be y'all only have one date. It may have only been a week. It may have only been a few weeks, but still, Talk to other people because you don't want to put all your eggs in that basket. And that's all I'm going to say.